Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV. And today what we're going to do is going to take a look at my five favourite results in darts. Now these are not necessarily the five biggest ranked players that I've beat. Don't get this confused with a different type of video. So it's not the five biggest ranked players I've beat, it's the five biggest wins that are most personal to me. And I'll share with you the reasons as to why. So the other day I did this one, the five most painful defeats of my career so far. So we're going to flip that and we're going to be a bit more positive today. Here are five results that meant the most to me and why. Robbie Green, 2016, and that just rhymed, it weren't planned, it just happened. Um, I needed to make the quarterfinals of the last Pro Tour, which was happening in Barnsley in 2016, and I needed to make the quarterfinals to qualify for the Players' Championship Finals, which was my goal for that season, qualify for my head. Now, I played Robbie Green in the last 16 of this event, Obviously, as he's on this video, you know that I won. I took out 149 finish to win the match, moved myself through to the quarterfinals, and qualified to play in the Players' Championships on ITV, where I played Simon Whitlock. 2011, Andy the Pie Man Smith. Now, I didn't have a lot to my name at this point in time. But I literally had to sell like PlayStation and a few bits to try and raise some budget so I could have a go to see if I could get onto the professional tour. It was £105 a tournament back then to get in. So at the time, you know, I had four children. I was very young in my coaching career, so I wasn't pulling in the big jobs at the time. So I literally could only go to one event in Crawley. That's all I had the money for. I went down, took the gamble, played the Saturday, played Andy Smith beat Andy Smith 6-5 with 132 finish for the match, which then gave me a couple hundred pounds that allowed me to play the UK Open qualifiers. So, huge result that if I didn't take out that one three two, probably wouldn't have been able to have carried on with the uh, PDT. 2019 World Championship Final Qualifier Adam Hunt. Very important game for me. I just absolutely blobbed it down in mine head a couple of days earlier. Played awful. Lost 6-2 to Dave Chisnell in the Players' Championships down on ITV. Needed to qualify for the World Championships via the qualifier. And I did, beating Adam Hunt in the final. Huge game for me. Kept my tour card. Gave me another crack at the World Championships. And moved me inside the PDC's World Top 64. UK Open qualifier Michael Van Gerwen, 6-5 victory. I'd never played in a PDC major before. I really wanted to play in the UK Open because it was the most achievable one for me at the time. And I was one win away from qualifying. And it just so happened to be that I drew Michael Van Gerwen. And I'd played him about 2-3 months previously and I lost 6-0. So... You can imagine I weren't too confident going into this one, but I ended up winning 6-5, took out a double seven with one dart in hand um, to win the match. Qualified me through for the UK Open where I reached the fourth round. I think you all knew this was coming. Gary Anderson, one of the best players that's ever lived in my opinion, definitely in the top five, two-time world champion. Gary Anderson played him recently, 2020, PDC Summer Series, Got the victory after losing to him 6-5 earlier in the week, missing match darts. I came back, played much better, averaged well over 100. Beat Gary Anderson and not just beat him, but I also did it taking out the maximum finish to win the game. Winning the match with 170 finish is the cherry on the cake. Huge victory for me this and I may mention it once or twice. I wanted to include this one, but realised I said PDC, so I thought I'd give you this as a bonus one. 2013 Ted Hankey semi-finals. Big, big win this was. It was a non-PDC event, though. That's why I didn't include it. Um, in 2013, we was required to give the house back. Basically, the people who owned the house wanted the, the house and the property back, so... Um, we ended up having to get that back because they wanted to sell it. But they let us in there with very small deposits. So for us then to go and get a new rental property, it was very hard. Like I say, we had four children, was living month by month. We didn't really have a lot of spare. Uh, the housing estates wanted a month and a half plus credit checks. So we just didn't have the deposit to be able to go get somewhere. So it was technically homeless for a couple of months. Um, we were sort of living with families. We had our stuff in storage units and things. And was going up to my grandparents. Um, and I stopped at a competition on the way and played in this competition uh, just because we was passing by. Um, 
and I stopped in, played this competition. Uh, I beat Andy Hamilton in the quarterfinals, Ted Hankey in the semis, lost to Dave Chisel in the final, but it got me a thousand pounds. That thousand pound then obviously uh, was the deposit. So huge, huge victory there for me at the time, and uh, yeah, it, it took the pressure massively off. Cause like I say, I was working as much as I physically could, but it it don't last long, does it? It's money in, money out. Edgar TV. And don't forget, guys, if you're enjoying Edgar TV, it's totally free to subscribe. Please do hit that subscribe button just underneath your video here. Hit the like button on the video, and we'll see you tomorrow or tonight for some more darts updates.